Last week we showed you highlights from the one-off Monster Energy Cup. Three 10-lap races in one evening, racing for a million bucks. Now, no one won the million, but the overall winner did pocket a hundred grand, and it was some race. Being out of official race competition for the better part of 18 months was Monster Energy Kawasaki's Davey Millsaps. We now welcome him to the Racer X Show. Davey, congratulations on the win and welcome to the show. Thank you. Glad to be here. Yeah. Uh, so, so tell us. I mean, you were you were off for so long, right? You hadn't won a professional race since February 9, 2013, San Diego Supercross, and now you come back from this absence and you're on top. How was the race and how was the weekend for you? I mean, obviously, <clears throat> the race wasn't wasn't bad at all. You know, walking out with the win was was pretty amazing. But you know, at the end of the day, you know, I only I only won the last one. You know, and and. You know, Trey had won the the first two, so it was uh, obviously he was obviously he was you know the better racer that night. He was the faster racer that night, um, and you can't take that away from him at all. But uh, you know, a million dollars on your mind going in that last round, uh, you know, puts a lot of pressure on you. So let's talk about that absence, okay? So uh, torn ACLs have kind of plagued you. It was a very interesting uh, situation. Uh, I want to make sure I have this right. So at the end of the 2013 Supercross season, you tore an ACL, then you're on the comeback trail, and in December you do the other leg, the other torn ACL. Uh, tell us about that period of your life. During during Supercross, I hurt my knee, and <clears throat> it was due to me having uh, a cricket femur from when I broke my femur back in 2006. Okay. So what we ended up doing was they had to cut through my femur, straighten my leg out, and do my knee at the same time to fix everything so I didn't have to go and get um, a full knee replacement in the next year or two. I was, uh, I didn't want to do that. Yeah. And um, then, you know, I was, on, I was on the comeback from that and ended up breaking my foot and pretty much destroying all the ligaments in my ankle. And uh, um, so I had to have that fixed. And then I came back from that, which wasn't a big deal, you know. I had surgery on both of them. Um, they fixed it, so I thought. <laughs> and then I came back and, and was dealing with a lot of pain with it, and just my mind wasn't right. I ended up sliding out in the corner and tearing my other ACL. So then I had to have that fixed. Um, ended up coming back from there, and my foot still bothered me, still bothered me. So I ended up having it, the surgery again on it. Came back from that. Still hurt. Mm. Tried to figure out what was wrong. Had another surgery. Came back from that. Still hurt. And then uh, finally we went and we did everything under the moon and uh, had to have another surgery to have it plated and screwed again and, and bone graft and had, my bone ended up dying. So we had to scrape that bone out and, and put new bone in and, and uh, that was my last surgery. So my foot has been the biggest problem, um, <clears throat> was the biggest problem. But uh, it's good now, and uh, you know it's been good for a little while now, and um, it's definitely a relief to know that I can go out and race and practice and, and uh, not be in pain with it. How did you keep your confidence about your riding ability during this entire time? I mean, you, you don't. You know, I, I, that's that's what was so good about the Monster Cup is going there, being off for so long, not knowing where I'm at, not knowing, you know, if they've gone up past me or if I've been able to stay with them and, and um, just all all of that and to go out and, and be in the top three you know every race <clears throat> obviously except for the second one where I crashed but uh, it was just it was just a good experience and, and obviously gave me a little bit more confidence knowing that I can still go that you know that pace uh, being off for so long and being how I've been working really hard on and off the bike and has definitely helped to to keep my speed where it's at and, and my and my fitness. All right, you just mentioned working hard on and off the bike. Uh, over this time, when, when this rehab, you know, following you on Instagram and, and watching what you're doing as an avid cyclist, of course, and having pedaled with you uh, at the Shimano event over a year ago, um, you know, or about a year ago, lo looking at that, that progress, there were some people that don't really understand the, the difference between, oh, well, Dave, you can pedal a bicycle, how come you just can't go out and ride a, a, a motocross bike? You know, explain to us that there's such a massive difference between impacts of those two different disciplines. I mean, at the end of the day, when <clears throat> when you when you do your ACL, or you, you, you do an ankle, or you do your foot, and you go to rehab, 
you know, a lot of the times they put you on a spin bike, you know, just to get the movement back. Well, for me, I didn't lose any of my movement, you know, so I was able to do whatever I wanted. Um, so I, I didn't lose any mobility and, and it's low impact when you're on a road bike. It's a little bit higher impact when you're on a mountain bike, but when you have a plate and seven screws and bone graft and all that stuff in your foot, your bone's not going anywhere. Um, I was, I think I was four or five weeks in before I started riding a mountain bike after my last surgery. Um, <clears throat> and all the times before that I was riding it, you know, it didn't hurt. So I didn't know. Um, but when I got on my dirt bike and I would jump really far or case something or, or land too hard, obviously that's way, 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 way more impact than riding a mountain bike going on fire roads and, and single tracks that you're not really putting that much load on your actual foot. So to me, I, I kind of laughed at everyone who, who asked me, you know, or who said, if you can ride a mountain bike, you can ride a dirt bike. Obviously they either A, have never ridden a mountain bike or B, never ridden a dirt bike. So I don't know, I, I don't think it's anything to do with each other. Obviously it helps riding mountain bikes and for me, if I could get in shape, in really good shape off the bike, it was only gonna benefit me when I got back on the bike. So what are, what are the off-season plans to keep this leg strong and to, and to keep everything you know together? So when we get to the beginning of uh, Supercross season, you're 100% in your brain and your body. Uh -huh. Obviously right now I feel good. Um, and you know, my leg feels good, my foot feels good. Uh, it's nice having a, a straight leg on the other one. Um, but now it's just, you know, getting through the sore stages of <clears throat> riding and training a lot together, which, you know, really has, I haven't been doing that much because I've always, you know, the last, what was it, two and a half months that, you know, I've been riding, it's just, you know, I can only handle so much at a time just because I've been off for so long. So now it's just getting to the point to where I'm able to ride and train really hard in the same day. and dealing with dealing with that which still sucks don't get me wrong it still sucks being sore but to then have to go back out and do it again yeah i i totally get that all right real quick you've ridden suzuki's yamaha's honda's uh you didn't race ktm but you've ridden a ktm uh, and now kawasaki what do you think like i even rode the husky and the husky all right yeah so uh what do you think about the kawasaki um i i like it you know i I got on it and didn't really know what to expect because I'd never really ridden one except for um, A on a 60 when I was amateurs. <laughs> and then I rode I rode my brother-in-law's in 2011 going into the 12th season because I didn't have a ride at that time because that's when the whole James thing, he was coming over to JGR and that took forever so it kind of left me in a gray area. So I went and rode different bikes. just because and um, I rode it for a couple of days so that's the last time I rode the Cowie and and um, I got on it and and we changed a couple of things really quick and and uh, I got super comfortable really quick so to me to me it's nice to have a bike that I'm comfortable with and to have a team um, who's used to winning and knows what it takes to win um, and will pretty much do whatever it takes to win so uh, to know that I have, you know, everyone's support and the full support of, of you know, Monster Energy Kawasaki is, uh, it's just hard to beat. When you got that phone call about going to that team, what were your emotions? Uh, stunned, you know, just, I was pretty much in awe because I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting it. You know, there were so many guys that were up and there was possibly one or two riders that could have got out of their deal to go there if, if they wanted to and and there was just so much build up of you know me turning down an offer that I had and then waiting for this offer. Um, you know, I was kind of in a in a scary place at that time because obviously you know I have a family to support too. So and you want to do what's best for your family but uh, you know I just had a I just had a gut feeling that I just needed to wait it out and and when I got the phone call, it was just, just like the weight of the world was like lifted off my shoulders. And it was, uh, it was pretty amazing. And not gonna lie, it was, uh, <laughs> I was, I was jumping for joy. 
<laughs> I would imagine you would be. It, it's so great. All right, final question, and I'm going to let you go. At this moment in time, what is your mindset going into the 2015 Supercross season? What are you thinking? Just go out and ride and and, and race to, to my you know my best ability. It's if I go out there on the track and I put my 100% heart and, and mind into it, then I know the outcome is going to be really good. So all I have to do is go there with you know a clear mind and and not worry about distractions and and stay focused and go out and, and ride my best and hopefully walk away like I did 2013 in Anaheim. We wish you the best of luck this season. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Racer X Show. Possibly during the season, Supercross season, we'll be able to check back in with you on the show. Absolutely. All right, Davey, thanks so much and uh, great luck this off season in training and into the Supercross season. Sounds good, man. Thank you.